Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are bringing light to the fact that already since 2010 the USA has had a patent for an Ebola virus. Let's look back briefly. In March 2014 the current Ebola outbreak in Guinea, West Africa was reported. Since then the WHO has determined criteria for countermeasures to fight the epidemic and on the 8th of August declared Ebola an international state of emergency. At the same time the media has been spreading the hopeful news that already in September the USA wants to have an Ebola vaccine to test on people because the first tests on monkeys have been successful. Experts from the WHO after being advised by medical ethics specialists they decided that due to the raging epidemic in West Africa, the use of non-approved medicines would be justifiable. However, the following facts are not being addressed in our mass media. The medicine ZMAP, which was authorized without any clinical studies, is not an ordinary vaccine, but rather an artificially produced antibody cocktail. This kind of antibody has never been successful in clinical tests against a virus. MapBio, the American pharmaceutical enterprise which produces this drug, explains on its homepage that it takes no responsibility for any side effects after use of the product. There one can read, it's the responsibility of the physician in charge to judge whether the experimental compound ZMAP should be prescribed to a patient. The production process for ZMAP is financed by the Pentagon, the US War Ministry. The Pentagon already developed and financed the medicine TKM Ebola, which supposedly potentially treats Ebola and other diseases by silencing the genes causing sickness. How is it possible that the US government can already do tests with an Ebola vaccine in September? This is because the US Health and Epidemic Authority, CDC, Center for Disease Control and Prevention, already since 2010 has had a patent on a certain strain of the Ebola virus. In addition to this, the patent documents state that the US government claims ownership of all Ebola viruses. Furthermore, a certain patent protection is to be required for infected patients to be treated with the vaccine. In practice, this means that no other country is allowed to develop an Ebola vaccine or to treat Ebola patients. Aside from this, it is very conspicuous that the CDC is literally completely in charge of finding the supposed proofs of the Ebola virus in Africa. This can hardly be called a coincidence. This is why the question comes up, is it really about fighting an epidemic as the WHO claims? Two conclusions can be drawn here. First, that the USA is not concerned about the welfare of the people in West Africa, but much rather about the future billions of dollars profit to be made for the US and its domestic pharmaceutical companies. And secondly, about free tests for new pharmaceutical products directly on people. Stay with us. We'll be reporting on the topic again. Thanks for watching and until tomorrow.